marketplace, but we have to get educated first. To break it down to the simplest component, counting party risk is you and I exchange cash flows based on the underlying price of an asset. It could be energy, it could be crude oil, it could be a stock, it could be a derivative, it could be a credit default swap. And then based on, on that, we exchange cash flows every day. So I give you a dollar, you give me whatever. Right. And, we, and in a perfect world, we both put up margin money, good faith deposit. With who? With, tip, the best way to do it would be with a third party. Would not be with ourselves, because we right. put it with ourselves. Inherently, it's... It's like putting your house in escrow. Right. It's that, that same principle of I create a neutral party and I say, listen, here's $10 from me. Uh, this, me this means I'm good to trade with Mark. And, and you would do the same and thing. And I would do the same. And based on the underlying price movements each day, you would then go ahead based on if, if the price went your way, you would then go ahead and collect a, a variation payment. Right. If it went against me, I'd have to pay a variation payment each day. Understood. So you get mark to market every day, full transparency. I know that I'm c comfortable with you because you're putting up money each day and you know you're comfortable with me because I'm putting up money and each day. And maybe on a given day, I owe a few more dollars and you take those dollars and maybe on another day, you owe a few more dollars and I take those dollars. Correct. That's a confidence that you and I have to trade with each other in Correct. effect. Where has it broken down? It's broken down because if you look at the exchanges, look at the CME, look at ICE, look at all the clearinghouses, there hasn't been any problems on any of these exchanges. And the reason why is because a third party acts as, the clear, acts as the clearing firm, acts as the insurer between you and I and is the guarantor of that trade. Yeah, which is when, what you used to do well, we with your clearing, clearing business we the clearing, on, the, on oil. Right, we were the clearing firm that, yes, for lack of a better. Understood. But what ends up happening now is when you allow me to go ahead and set the settlement price, for me to go ahead and say what something's worth, for me to collect the, the money, and I'm a counterparty to you in this transaction, okay, we lose all credibility. Because how do I value the asset? I'm not, I'm not a disinterested third party. I'm not risk managing my position. I'm trying to make as much money as I possibly can. And until- As am I. As are you. So until the markets evolve to a point where everything is completely transparent, prices, where clearing of uh, all types of over-the-counter transactions, not just CDSs, um, but everything that, that, that has a buyer and seller aspect to it that is not on an exchange is done through an independent third party, okay, this problem is going to persist. I, I want to read a, a comment to you from Mohamed El Arian, who is the CEO of Pacific Investment Management, a trillion dollars, give or take, uh, in bonds here. Uh, do we have this full screen from, from Mohamed? Uh, there is a significant lack of counterparty trust in the system. This is exactly what Mark is talking about. This impacts the willingness and ability of buyers and sellers to face each other. This is exactly what you just described. He goes on to say, as a result, trading activity dramatically declines. You have been saying this for some time. Bid offer spreads, and it's buyer and seller, go to pair paralyzing levels and the system comes to a gradual and devastating stop. This is where we find ourselves this evening. Yes. How do we fix it? Let me give you an example. Let's assume that we had a hundred people on this floor here and I knew that one, one, or, one or two people had an incurable disease and if I touched that person, okay, I was going to get this disease. So what do I do? Unless I know who that party is, I'm not trading with anybody. And, and that's basically what's going on in the markets right now. There is so much uncertainty over who's solvent, who's not solvent, who can pony up the margin money, who can pony up the counterparty risk. I mean, nobody wants to get caught in a situation where they put up money with Lehman and then your money is going to be tied up for God only knows how long. So what has to happen is the marketplace must use, okay, the private sector and the people that are good at managing risk, such as the CME, CME and I, 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 to go ahead and act as utility, to go ahead and basically manage this risk, to broadcast prices, to allow everything to go to a public marketplace where people can feel comfortable. Because if I know that my trade is going to be guaranteed by the CME and in cases of um, markets that are a little more opaque by the Federal Reserve itself, then I'm going to be comfortable trading because I'm not worried anymore. But as long as I'm worried, you're seeing in the marketplace right today, everyone's just hoarding money, drawing down lines of credit, doing whatever it takes because they're just basically going ahead and afraid of anybody and anything. And so what has to happen, and the sooner the better, is the sooner the marketplace goes ahead, goes to centralized clearing, and where the Fed steps in and assumes the role as that counterparty guarantor, I think you're going to unlock a lot of people who are on the sidelines who are willing to go ahead and bid for assets, buy assets. And yes, some, some banks, some institutions may go under, but if you know who they are, the marketplace will get through it. It's the uncertainty of not knowing who's where is what's getting us to where we are now. Do you believe that the people in government and the people in the private sector understand what you just described? I hope so. I think so. I think we're getting to that point. I think, you know, two weeks ago, I don't think people were ready for the, for the government to assume such a role. But I think now 